Terry. So you're going to show us. So one of the things that we do, if we've got a short length of hose, then we'll put we'll put the um, the Put pipe in, the, in there like that, not not on the side. Never like yeah. that. Never and, like and that. You, yeah, and you just you just you're just grabbing it. You're not doing it too tight because yeah, you don't want to damage the hose. Just yeah. enough to stop it yeah. from turning. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah, you could probably still turn that if you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So what do you got? A inch, inch and an eighth. eighth. Yep. So that on. goes on, and it's a, you're pulling it towards you. Thread. Yeah. Yep. That thing. Alright, and you just stand on it so it won't twist Stop around. It from twisting. Yep. yep. And away you go. Because that's quite a coarse thread inside of that, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And, you just pull, and it just pulls up. Yep. But we should have prepared the end of that first, right? No? We don't have to worry about that? No, it's all cut off. Yeah, you don't, but you don't have to, with the pipe on the end, do you have to get that perfectly no. cut? No. No. Yeah, just cut, cut it off cut and straight, yeah, yeah, just cut it off on the yeah, as long as it's a parallel cut. Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, I can't remember what the exact you lay out. I think one point something mil deflection. Yes. So it doesn't have to but be perfectly You, just, you just use the drop saw. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So just wind that down then to a bottom there, and you'll feel it. Yeah, it'll tighten up. Now what I always do is always back it off a quarter to half a turn. Yes. Because when you wind it on there, it's obviously going to peel a bit of rubber. Yep. And then when you back it off, that should cut it off, then you blow it out and it should never go through your system. So when you say you blow it out, you put air through yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah, you blow out any contaminants. Yeah, so yep. Back it off half a turn. Yep. And then... Alright. Behind your bed. There you go. Good to hear. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm not here, right? Right. Go for it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't know how to use a throttle gun, do you, sir? I know, you're Everyone wants to be in the video today. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. Inch and a half. Rat a tat, rat a tat, tat. Off we go. All oh, right, then in the vice. In the vice. Yep. Grab your fitting. Well, if you're in, the, if you didn't have that, then you just basically you'd have to use a ring spanner on there. You can do. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Then yep, a bit of lube. Yep. On your fitting, and always put a bit down in there in the. Yep. In or the hand. In a oh hose. right, so on the hose itself, yeah. yep. Where we go. And that's a left hand thread as well. No, no, oh. No, yeah. oh you got it. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. And you inch banner and basically you wind all the way down to there. Got it. Sweet. And um, I probably shouldn't do that, but um when you're doing it, don't stop like that. Be, con be continuous. Yeah, because it heats the hose. Because it heats the hose up, makes it a bit easier for you. Yes. Where now it's probably going to be a bit firmer. But yeah. But yeah, if you just keep it constant that way. Yeah, which is why advice is necessary. Yeah. You just made me think. I I think I did spec our utes because we've just bought twenty utes, and. Um, I've got air compressor on them and generator and fuel tank and blah blah to make a sort of a portable service unit, a fueling unit. Yep. I think I'll put a vice on oh, there as well. Yeah. 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 And yeah, so you wind all down to completely seat it down like that. Yeah, got it. And once again you'll feel it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Excellent.